Hey guys, we're back again. Uh, this is a part three. If you want to check out our other two videos um, that remove the battery and the trackpad, um, go check those out. Uh, we posted those pretty recently. So now what we want to do here is move the logic board and uh, we're actually going to transfer everything to another uh, palm rest because that's definitely a much easier way to go than actually to remove the keyboards. First thing you want to do, um, take out the connections. All right, and now we're actually going to unscrew the little bridge um, connection right here. We want to screw this because um, we, it would make it easier to get the bar lifted here. Okay, now you're ready to remove the board. And there it goes. So here it is the board. We do need the speakers to come out now. We still need to take out the LCD. Now there's a little trick I like to do, you've probably seen in the last video if you watched them, um, especially the MacBooks or anything. Um, for this part, I do like to lift a little bit so it helps me get some grip on the metal parts right here. Once I lift a little bit, or you can even go almost all the way, just make sure it lines up, just go nice and easy back on the hinges. It makes it much easier just to lift it and then put them back on. Um, so I definitely like doing that. So you can stretch it all the way, just like that. Okay, and that's how you remove it. Um, and now we're gonna put it all back together. But yep, so pretty much just gonna go in reverse. We're gonna do the same thing. So um, I'll speed it up a little bit just to save you guys some time, but it's, it is literally, we're just going back in reverse. Or you wanna make sure you keep this. This is a very important connection here for the next one. And of course, all of the other connections as well. You don't wanna bury anything underneath in the top one. Don't forget about that one. All right, so once you get all the connections in, now we want to put the plate back on top of here and of course the trackpad. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is put the battery in, but I would definitely recommend putting just some strips here, maybe at least one or two for each row. Okay. 
Okay, so just line it up. And once it looks good, um, what I normally like to do, I like to plug it in first. That would help it line it up. All right, and that's it. And then you just close it up. Okay guys, so that's how you put everything back together. Um, please like the video, um, subscribe if you can. We do appreciate it, and you guys have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching.